hello everyone so in this recording we are going to discuss how to set up pipeline with bitbucket so i will be using dotnet core 6 project for this and we are using we are we will be set up ping the pipeline using the bitbucket runner so initially in this video we will look at the simple architecture or the high level what we are going to do then we are going to set up our dotnet 6 project so it will be a simple web api only so it will just written hello world so that uh, we can identify okay and then we will set up our github and bitbucket setup then we will create our pipelines and then we will test our uh, what we have created okay so this is very simple okay so i will be creating two branches first is dev and second is master so dev i'm going to con configure it to my local server and master i'm going to configure it to remote server so i have uh, created one vm in my azure cloud so i will be using that so as soon as i publish something from dev my dev branch it should deploy my code to iss on my local system okay and uh, whenever i publish from master branch it should deploy it directly to iis on my remote okay so that we are going to achieve okay so now let us set up our dotnet core project so let us open visual studio new project web api bit bucket core Uh, I will be using .NET 6 LTS and uh, remember to uncheck this button because we are we will be using minimal APIs for that hit create button and our project will be set up yes so let us go to the program and uh, I just want to return simple hello world We will change the message afterwards. Uh, so we don't want any route. Just on the as soon as the page load is loads, we want to return it. And here we will I will give return keyword. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Let us build and run. will be launching uh, application or browser to weather forecast because it is set up in the launch JSON. so this is our hello world okay so now let us publish it publish the folder yes so I want to publish where uh, in my PC, I have created sites. So inside site, let me publish on the demo. Publish. Yes. Our publish is successful. And let me navigate where we have published sites demo. So this is what we got. Okay so now let us create one site on our is so add site mm, let me give it my name only so we have our population c sites demo okay and uh, let it be on our port 80 okay okay it is it is useless like 500 5, Okay. Yes. So let us restart the server and check. It is working not. Yeah. So it is working. So in my IIS, in my local IIS, I have already downloaded .NET 6. So you need to download this two. First is uh, this hosting bundler for IIS and second is SDK 
for uh, uh, for creating publish and build okay because if you if you just download a hosting bundle so it will uh, means is will be able to run the project but uh, on the fly if you want to publish so it would require a stick okay so the same thing let us do on our remote server so this is my remote server so let me go to c sites and let us create demo and uh, here let us install that uh, install those because i have not installed .NET 6 on my server .NET 6 download .NET 6 download so first we have to install hostly hosting bundler and second is our let us open agree install close let's go back and installed SDK for .NET Core 6 I guess on file Yeah, I guess it is installed already. Uh, SDK is installed already in my system. So I think there is no need to install it. Let me check once again. Dot .NET version. yeah it is installed so we have created this uh, folder so let me copy all the publish file from our demo to here and uh, let me and open is new website add physical path it is in the C sites demo okay and uh, let us also give it 5000 port only okay browse and it should give us hello world perfect okay so our dotnet code is set up so now let us create our git pipeline uh, git branches yes so i have opened our code into vs code so let us initialize initialize git and uh, commit it initial commit and uh, also i will be creating the bitbucket repository also you can just sign in here select the projects pipeline nope don't want anything so our repository is created https i will copy this link and add it to my remote git remote add origin paste the link git push origin master hyphen yeah our simple code is deployed in bit let us check it refresh yeah now i will be creating our dev branch so dev branch get branch dev get checkout 
data okay and hello i will be changing message so that we can identify get status get add all get comment dev initial and get push origin dev so we have successfully created our two branches and pushed them into the bit let me refresh it this is our master just hello world and uh, this is our dev hello world from dev okay so now we are now we'll be installing ssh keys into my local as well as into my remote and adding those keys into bitbucket so we can uh, initialize the runner so first okay so now i will be creating the ssh keys so let me open command prompt and uh, type ssh key gen it is already created so let me override it yes okay so it will be created in the root of your user dot ssh okay and open that into notepad and copy this ssh key go to bitbucket account and uh, in the settings personal bitbucket setting yeah you first have to verify do the two step verification uh, so i will be i will be installing this microsoft authenticator and scanning this uh, scanning this QR and I will get the code and I will be pasting it here so it is enabled now I will be going to SSH keys and uh, I have already inserted the keys so let me delete this keys and uh, these are my local keys add key so local keys created so i will now we have to create in now we have to link our remote ssh key so i will be going here opening cmd ssh key gen Key is created users ssh opening it copying it add key pasting the key of my virtual machine add key yeah so we have added the key now it is time to set up uh, set up two runners one is for local and one is for remote so click on the bit bucket and go to our repository here on the left go to repository setting and inside the pipelines we will see runner so before runner we have to go to the settings and enable this pipeline and now we can come back to our runners I will add runner first I will do it for local machine I have windows in my local local runner and I want to give one level as local so label will be help us to identify when we are uh, writing ML file so next so this I have to install it I will be going into my root directory here opening powershell sh shift plus right key opening powershell window here pasting the command hit enter yeah pasting the command 
and cd into the folder which is created inside the bin and finally our last command mm, so yeah our runner state is on and here i will select next next yeah so our local runner is up and running so let us do the same setting on our remote also add runner in my vm i have um, vm runner i will be giving vm as a label here next copying this command going into my vm uh, right click open powershell window here pasting the command hit enter yes pasting the second command i think it is not copied and cd ration inside bin pasting the last command <laughs> yeah render is up next finish our both runners are up and working now let us set up the last our yaml file so i have already one yaml file so let me walk you through it so this is the image we are using sdk6 okay and here is a pipeline so this is the default when uh, neither the dev and master branch will run so what happened it will simply return build and testing echo okay so here is the branch inside branch we have dev and inside dev we have some step so this steps is for runner so it will just and this is the label which we have give uh, give to distinguish it from our um, uh, remote uh, runner okay and these are the script i will be stopping the is server and then sleep making it sleep for two seconds then i will be publishing it to this folder let me check uh, video deployed on this folder or not so inside c inside sites it is demo folder in which we have deployed so let me copy it and uh, in my notepad so this is the file where we want to publish and same goes with uh, in the remote server also so let me again walk you through the path where we have installed so it is on the site demo right c site demo copy the path c sites demo okay so this is our yaml file we are going to copy it okay so i guess uh, get punch i have done that in dev so same let me do it in master also sorry sorry i have not checked i have not committed into a dev so it is okay we will commit first here yes get a status get add get commit message yaml edit get push origin master so and as soon as this um as soon as this code is pushed our pipeline should work let us see that how it is working or not let me go back into the pipelines yeah it is working and we have made one changes i think we have not made one changes in the 
mm, yeah, it is deployed into our here. So let me make one changes and let's see it is deploying it automatically or not. Into our master, let us go and let me change the message from master. Get add, get commit. It should again start the pipeline. Go to the pipelines. Yeah, pipeline is start, and this is our commit message. And uh, deploying and staging. Let us go to IIS and uh, browse. Yes, our message is changed. So it is uh, it has automatically built the code and deployed to the respective location. So same we are going to do with our dev also. So it will do with it will uh, do at our local. So we can quickly do that. So let me switch it to dev and. Uh, We don't have big bucket here, so we are going to save it and the program file. Yes, get add, get commit, yaml, get to dev, get push origin, dev. So it should um, deploy in our local. So let us go and check the message which pipeline is refresh yeah yaml edit to dev it is in the progress deploying on local so there is some issue i think it will be asking for yeah permission because i'm not using uh, i don't have proper access uh, to a shutdown IS server so if I open the code with administrator it uh, it have worked fine so that's how we set up the pipelines thank you